Hold on to that. All right. Thank you. All right, hold on to your seats. This should be an exciting game. Undefeated check, USA 2-1. and one. They seem to have gotten themselves together. Burdick from a bottom has it stolen away. Shotolova to Levinsko on the cut. She'll give it back, but Van Lift was able to break it up for a moment. Levinsko finds herself open, a change in possession, and uh, they had to clear that to continue. They did not, and that's why uh, you see the no clear sign. They'll turn it over to Liddy and Team USA. I'm curious to see if the USA can get Lily Harper some touches, as yeah. you see here. Well, Harper forces the shot, gets another shot. The tip is no good. Got to try a different card. 0-0 zero, zero is staged. Burdick will set up Lene again. And oh, that time, Lene, she got stuffed. She needs some antihistamine. But the effort is there. She'll have a seat and think about it for a second with a smile on her face. Like, I cannot believe. Yeah. <laughs> number one, I missed those layups. And number two, I got packed like that. Oh, Cameron Brink breaking the heat. Hoop and the harm. Did you say breaking the heat? Of course I did. Oh, my. That's a good one. You know they're coming. Showing that touch, though. Look at that. Caught physical contact and got that shot to drop as well. She's coming along. She's coming along for sure. So this USA team, different than, than last year's squad that bowed out early, but got, got a new coach this year. Jennifer Rizzotti, USA Women's Basketball Hall of Famer, veteran, NCAA champion, and president of the Connecticut Sun. So obviously, like, like I was mentioning yesterday, USA Basketball really investing. They're going to get heavy hitters. Mm -hmm. Some uh, really high basketball acumen to uh, get, these, get these ladies ready to go for gold here in 2023. There's Brink. Man, she's, she's attacking the rack. Mm -hmm. What? What? I'm just looking at you. You were looking for me to drop a bar, is what I think you. Yes. No, uh, not not every time, Boz. Mm -hmm. My brain don't function like that. I'm sorry. Dang. So greedy. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Van Lint with a quick step. An offensive Lynn. foul there, though. Brink with the uh, lead and screen there, and you can't be doing that. Two point lead, USA. Just scratching the surface. Riley Kova to Shotolova. She threw that thing in reverse. Beautiful finish. Lene with the entry pass. Oh, CB. See it clearly. Hey, I was talking to uh, the Czech coach earlier today, and uh, after that first game, he was so proud of his ladies because he said they had been playing from a, an underdog position on day one because they didn't know what was going to happen, right? And so this morning was the first time they played with something expected of them, and uh, they they performed, right? So he was so proud. One will let me know that. So I just wanted to want to throw that out there. Coach Roddick Snobble doing good things out there in check. Got a lot to be got got a lot to be proud of. Three three. United States teams aren't exactly afraid of the mighty machine, and I think we can both agree that USA has produce the best basketball players in the world most consistently. Are you yes. going to argue with me there? Yes. No, I'm not. OK. So a wealth of talent to select from, just a matter of putting the right combination together. So we'll see if this American team is the right mix this time. It will make teams headhunt you a little bit, though, if you're from the States. And I remember when I played, we were just trying to go at them. Well, they always have a target on their back. Yes. And that's what I was saying, that no disrespect to the to the team, but 
Well, teams aren't exactly afraid of them. Nope. They, they see them, you know, drop a game on day one. And the, the games have been really, really tight. They, they were down six early to Mongolia. Yeah, fought themselves back in that game, but they haven't been as overwhelmingly dominant as you might expect. They have some nice individual players, right? Haley Van Lith really carried them with layups last game. We haven't hit her seat, seen her hit too many shots from the outside. Offensive foul is called here. But even, I mean, even with a loss here, I'll have to look at the at the standings again, but even with a, with a loss here, Czech Republic by, by way of that 3-0 start, uh, they're in great position to be playing in the elimination rounds. They want that one seed because that bye could really help you. But yeah. I, they're going to be playing on day six, day five. <laughs> I forget what it'll be. And when, when we start the playoffs, they'll be there. In about a month, huh? Huh? Oh, in about a month. Yeah, in about a month. That's what it feels like. We got a lot of games to go, boss. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Shotolova, no. Brink will clear it herself. She strides out beyond the two-point arc. Harper over to Liddy. And they get it to the Brink's truck. She's delivering. She's been money. Cameron Brink waking up here and putting the United States up by one over Czech Republic. TV timeout time. And we're seeing Cameron Brink featured in this offense here in this game. And she is delivering like a midwife. Come on. No, Come I on. like that. That's good. Come on. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> boss. I'm trying to save the laugh. <laughs> Give me so I'm trying to yep. save that for the afternoon games. Or actually, we're in the afternoon, so I can laugh. We're good. Y'all know y'all was giggling at home. Y'all know y'all was. If you're giggling at home, though, let us know. I, I had some people give me a shout out yesterday for that NCAA game story that I told yesterday. Oh, yes, that was. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> yeah. Rewatch the stream, please, but. Apparently, uh, Boz Rosendahl is a black dude. Yes. Uh, to some people. <laughs> yeah, that's a classic, bro. Yeah. Uh, Shotolova making a move on C. Berta. And that one was flying like a bird. That caught wings straight out of bounds. Shotolova will have some time to think about it as she'll check out, and Levinska will check in. Just a two point advantage for Team USA. Here's the experienced Lene Harper. Quick step to the left. We ain't got that choreography. Van lifts with the swish. And that's what we're used to seeing her do, right? Get that quick jab step in there. Get a, get a bucket from far. No two-point shot just yet, but mid-range game there now. So foul on that shot attempt. And, uh, they narrowly avoided being an and one. It's Riley Kova. Will he head up to the strike. And she will knock it down. Get it down to the body shot. Berta sees it like a psychic. The vision on the setup as USA enjoy a three point lead, make that a two point lead. Levinska answers right back. Lady with the heads. Step back. Stroke was broke. Riley Coburn will take over, and ain't nobody home, so she steps right in. Verdict, giving it up. Van Lith, catch up if you can. She made a taste of vapors. Choto Lova. She. She throws up some junk. Yeah, great defense by Harper, who stayed at home on that fake. Kept the composure. Shotlova couldn't get a good shot up. So approaching the, the midway point of this one. Not a dominant United States start, but certainly enough. Yeah. Check keeping track, though. They're right there. Hey, I got some people telling me that midwife line did well so far. 
Oh, they like that one. Yeah, they like that one. Ooh. Uh, USA, they like that one. That's all net, all wet from Van Lith. Oh, what a kiss off the glass. Look at that defense, too. Vinchka is just stopping people right now. Burnett couldn't do anything with her. That one is a miss. Three point game. They'll give it back to Van Lith. Van Lith. Uh, misses the layup. Burdick, though, snags the board. She's going to set up Van Lith. Oh, Van Lith is cooking. Yeah, right now she's found her stroke. Mid range game, and now the two point shot's falling. That was what, what was missing from this USA squad. So they're getting warmed up. And Liv shooting her shot like she's trying to get a date. That's a double date right there. She's good from two range. And get that thing out the bottom of the net. That's a sight that the Americans love to see. She gets going. It could be a long day for you. Five point lead, USA. I think Van Lift took a, maybe a shot to the nose or something. She's getting looked at by the, by the medical staff. So. Uh, she's tough. I think she's going to be all right. It's a mentee of the late great Kobe Bryant. So you know she's tough. Yes. Galikova. Gets the reverse to go. But then the sixth foul in the Czech Republic. Close to the bonus. They're looking at a deficit right now. They're down four points. So think about think about, about the way that this group can potentially play out. It's a top three will advance. Uh, you have Canada playing hungry. Canada have an opportunity to, to finish three and one if they get a win. If the United States continue to hold court here uh, against Czech Republic, that would prove them a three and one. Drop Czech Republic to three and one. We'd be looking at a three-way tie atop the group, mm -hmm. and it would come down to points to determine that top overall seed in that direct uh, bye, so to speak, straight to the, quali the uh, quarterfinals. Yes, and if you're looking at points scored so far, let's see here. Yeah, so Czech in first over Canada right now. Both teams still working on that last game, of course. Right. United States, one point behind the Canadians, so it's tight. Oh, man. It is very tight in the pool. This is the excitement that I like, though. Think about it. We're at day three, and we can already see the storylines unfold. My hands have been sweating since we got in, uh, got online here at, like, 10.45. We're a couple hours in, are we? It has been. So much fun up till now. Listen, I don't ever look at the at the clock during the day. I refuse to. You just get depressed. <laughs> Show told over. Oh, see what had happened was nothing doing for verdict there. And think about Czech's ability to shoot those twos, not with. A bird woman flying in there. Burdick with a good D. And more offense coming from Cameron Brink. She gets called for the foul. No, she does not. Cameron Sheck gets called for the offensive foul. Oh, offensive foul. Yeah, Riley Kofa. That's why Brink was so turned up. Yes, Riley Kofa used her elbow to get free there. Seven fouls on Czech Republic, too. Here's Harper, and she continues to have a cold spell. Three, three seconds back to the bucket, mm -hmm. which was a, a new rule introduced last year. Yes, it used to be five. Yep, to speed the game up a little bit. So once you initiate a dribble with your back to a, a defender, uh, you have three seconds to shoot or pass. If you don't, then it's a turnover. Check, uh, check team might be showing their age just a little bit now, right? They are outmatched against this Haley Van Lith led USA squad. 
Nedlith and Brink doing work. I think the Czech team's got some more in them, though, but they're not releasing any shots. They're not getting any easy points. Let's see what they can do in the last stretch of the game here. Remember, their uh, home country's close, right? So yeah. They might drive back to the country for a little bit, practice tomorrow, and then get back to it to recover and revive uh, their spirit. I'm not saying that's broken or anything, but just being in your home country helps, right? And it's so close. We're right, right, right on the brink of check here. Boz dropping the ge the uh, geography facts. I'm a huge geography nerd. I, mean, I don't think you understand. I think when I was younger, I used to retrace the atlas on one of those retraceable papers. Oh yeah, you really are a nerd. Yes. <laughs> Good time. See Berta. She's about to catch a sentence out here. She's abusing people. And a 16 to 8 advantage. Goes up through the contact. It's like a mosquito bite for her. She is battle tested. Vertical shoot. Two here. The first of two is a miss. Verdict, who was a member of that undefeated 2014 USA gold medal team with Jewel Lloyd. She's got the experience and the veteran leadership that this American team needs. 17 to 8. You can see that confidence building with Team USA. Yeah, Burdick won a medal at a very young age, right? So I'm, I'm curious to see if we're looking at the Czech team in about eight years the same way, maybe 10. Oh, I'll tell you, if this Czech team stays together, that they are going to continue to be a problem. Well, he's he's a, a problem, though. She's a problem child. Cameron Brink, she is controlling this game like analog. She's pressing all the right buttons. And a 10-point advantage. We're doing video games today, then, huh? That's all right. Well, if we mix it up. We go all over with the with the word play. Yeah, I promise you, we leave the cartoons out of this for a little bit. So let's let's do video games. I'm good with that. <laughs> brink. She passes in on both of them, putting the U.S. on the brink of victory. All they need is one. Brink to hand lit. No. Oh, Brink, give me that. Give me that again and. She'll have to end it at the free throw line. An interesting one here, right? Think about it. So Czech hasn't scored a lot of points this game. It will probably go down to a three-way tie in which Czech, in this case, might drop the second or third. So Brink can think about missing these. They'll get the ball back and then get a two-point shot up. Because you want to get as many points on the board as possible. Now, she's obviously trying to get this his W. That's a great point. But that, and also no coaching during this game, these games. They gotta be player coaches, so that has to be present of mind for them to understand that. I don't think they do. Nope. They don't care. It's 21-8, a runaway win for the United States as they'll wrap up group play three and one. And I think they gotta, I don't know if they'll have the one seed. We're gonna have to do some math, but 